hi everyone ravi this side welcome to engineering adda so in this video i am going to discuss what is tab 9 how we can use tab 9 and why we are using tab 9 so tab 9 is a plugin that you can use in your ide while you are doing the development so it will assist you some codes so it is a ai assistance tool that will auto suggest you the next line of code so let's say you are going to write a method to add two numbers and before that you are just uh, writing out comment for the developers to know that this is a method for adding two numbers so so you have written down a comment uh, like create a method to add two number okay so the tab 9 will read that comment and it will auto suggest you the next line of codes it will auto suggest you the whole method that you are going to write and you can use that code to create your own method so this is what tab 9 is uh, let me go to the next slide so tab 9 is a ai assistance tool for software developers in the core language you can also say it is a textual auto complete extension okay let me show you some features of tab 9 so tab 9 uses generative ai technology to predict and suggest your next line of codes based upon the context and the syntax so based upon the context like what code you are going to write so if you'll brief something about the that code it will automatically generate the next line of code for you so it will pick up the context and the syntax and then it will auto generate the next line of code so it also whole line of code it will generate the whole line of code for you okay so we can say it is full function code completion and uh, it uses the natural language to code so let's say you have uh, written a comment in your own language so it will read that language and generate the code according to that okay it will improve the code quality and the consistency it will also help you to increase your productivity and speed up your development so this is some features of tab 9 now let me go to the intellij and show you how you can install tab 9 in intellij and then how you can use it so go to the intellij if you are using some other id like sts or uh, eclipse or visual studio code so you can uh follow the same approach go there into the plugins and then install it so let me go to the file setting and uh, here you need to search for the tab 9 okay so you can see tab 9 is there now you need to install it so click on install it will ask you to restart your ide so just restart your ide so once you restart it it will uh, route you to the default browser and it will open up a login page for you okay so because i already have logged in there so it is not opening the login page for me so you can see here in the intellij you can see the tab 9 is installed for us so when you are going to do it for the first time when you will install the plugin in the intellij or in your ide then it will restart your ide and once it is restart when it will open up in few second it will automatically open up a default browser with the tab 9 login so there it will provide you the different login methods either you can use the google or github or facebook so any of this ide you can use and then you can log in to the tab 9 and then after that you can uh, return to your code editor and then you can start your development so in my case because i have already have installed it so it is not coming up so let me try to see and then open this and then show you that my id is logged in there so you can see this is my id and it is already logged in there so if you are doing it for the first time it will uh, route you to that login page so let me also walk you through the tab 9 site so you can see it is a ai assistant for software developers okay 
so you can see here you have uh, written a comment and then it will automatically generate the next line of code for you okay so this is how it is working uh, it is trusted by million of developers worldwide and it is used in uh, this some elite companies okay and uh, these are some features of it you can walk it, walk through this site and then get a more idea of that tab 9 okay now let me go to the IntelliJ and then start our development so let's say I'm going to create a method to add two numbers okay so for that I'm just going to write a comment so method to add two numbers something like that two numbers so you can see I have written two and then it is auto suggesting the numbers for us so press a tab there and then now enter and you can see it is auto suggesting the whole method for us to add two numbers so you can press tab and use this method okay similarly if you will enter you can see it is also auto suggesting us the method to multiply two numbers so let me press tab there enter and then it will suggest you the whole line of code so you can see it is suggesting the line of code to uh, multiply and uh, it is also suggesting us the method to divide let me try to use that add two strings so you can see based upon our earlier uses it is also auto suggesting us to add two strings let me try to press tab here okay and then uh, enter and you can see it is suggesting me the method to add two strings and multiply two strings you can see here okay so you need to uh, work on your intelligence and whatever method you want to use you can use it so this is how it is working now let me try to remove this comment let me try to add some other comment like method to subtract two numbers okay enter and you can see it is giving us the whole line of code press tab okay if you want to use it use it otherwise you can remove it so you can see this is how it is working now let me try to create a method to insert the key value pairs in hash map so method to insert key value pairs into hash map press tab and then enter and then press tab so you can see it has created the whole line of code for us it has created one method called insert where it is uh, passing out the map and key and value key is of a string type and value is of integer type and it is returning that map so this is how the tab 9 is working for us it is very good tool you can use it in your ID to start your development now let me try to create some other method so you can see it is auto suggesting us method to print out a map so press tab enter and then press let me try to be there to see how it is suggesting us so press tab you can see it has written one method print map passing the map and then printing out the entry and the value for that so this is very much cool you can use it to reduce your effort and to increase your productivity so let me try to create one method method to add a student in the list okay in array list something like that okay now let me press tab you can see it has created one method add it to add, add student and it is passing the array list of a student and a student object and then adding that student object into the array list and then returning that array list you need to create this method okay so you can use the alt enter and then you can create this student let me try to create this student class okay 
so this is how it is working you can see you can import it now you can import the array list so you can see this is how it is working it is very much effective okay and you can use it for your own work okay so this will speed up your development and it will increase your productivity so, so try to use this uh, plugin so if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks